Hello, my name is Michael Yan from Kills of China. Uh, today, the question I'm going to answer is what are the requirements of software versioning uh, of medical device software registration in China? So when register a software as medical device, either standalone software or software components, the manufacturer needs to uh, sp specify the software version on the product labeling if there is a display with something like a about box. It also needs to show the version of the software. In the meantime, the software versioning rule has to be specified in multiple technical documents, such as the product uh, technical requirements, uh, which is called for PTR, and software description report. The general requirements of software, uh, software description report are similar to IEC 62304 or FDA's uh, general principles of software validation. So NMPA treated software uh, versioning very strictly. The software number should reflect uh, software changes. Uh, a change in the release version uh, re uh, represents a significant update of the software. This will need a change submission in NMPA. The manufacturer needs uh, to apply the type testing or, uh, for all the changes. A minor change or a bug fix in the full version means that the software is only slightly updated. This kind of change does not need uh, a change submission, but need to record record changes in the in the manufacturer's QMS records. So an NPA requires both the full version and release version have to be specified in the software description report. The naming rule and uh, explained uh, the version scheme could be, for example, the full version will be x.y.z.b and the release version could be only x. The digits the digit X represents significant updates of the software, and Y represents minor updates. Z means, uh, for example, bug fix, and B represents the build. If X changed, uh, the manufacturer has to submit a change submission. If Y, Z, or B have changed, it should be recorded in the quality management system. It could be provided together with the future change registration or, or in the renewal reg registration for the, for the minor changes. Because currently there are new requirements of cybersecurity. The software updates of the cybersecurity also need to be uh, pr represented in the software version scheme. There is a particular situation about the product recall if the software update is related to a recall, it has to follow the, the procedure of the recall requirements, which does not apply to the registration requirements. So our suggestion is that the manufacturer could claim that the release version of software should contain the X only, so that to avoid frequent updates and uh, required change submissions. But it is also necessary to make sure that the software version in, in all the submitted documents, including the IFU and other uh, approval certificates, are identical. The software guidance says no matter in which way for labeling the software, such as the uh, revision number, uh, the build number, or release date, it will be treated as software version. So the manufacturer needs to submit a software versioning uh, authenticity statement to clarify the naming rule and give the full version and release version of the software. So in the IFU, the software release version shall be stated. Meanwhile, on the, on the software, um, for example, the, the login screen, the main screen or the about box, uh, both full version and release version of the software should be uh, presented. And during the type testing in China, the test engineer will check uh, the information uh, about software version and take the pictures, which will be pasted into the final test report. 
Uh, here is an example uh, about the software version. That is uh, the Microsoft Internet Explorer. This is the about box uh, in which we can see the release version it can be 11 and its full version is uh, 11.3630.14393.0. Uh, if this IE is uh, a medical device, uh, when 11 changes to 12, this change will need a submission. If the other digits in the full version changed, usually uh, this kind of changes can be uh, recorded in a QMS until the next submission. Okay, that's the answer for software versioning, and uh, thanks for watching.